And, um... Interesting, okay. Okay, so we did still need that fishing rod, so we're gonna have to figure out a way to expand where we can... It looks like they do different purposes indeed to 1D. Um, I just didn't know what I could get and what I couldn't. Because yeah, now I can't get the... The mackerel or... Oh, I don't really want flounder. Mm, what? A delivery? Let's see here. He tears a small hole in the paper and peeks inside. You can't say for sure, but it feels as though he's shielding it from your view. Eh, mm. yeah, nice and fresh. This'll do nicely. I'm to pay you, I suppose. He hands you some money. Mm. I was given this old book a few weeks back, but it didn't make much sense to me. You'll surely get more use out of it. He pulls a crumpled book from his back pocket and hands it to you. A number of the pages are folded over. Keep it in your cabin. Perhaps you can read it while you're on the water. Stop by for a chat anytime. I know how lonely it can be. Ooh, there's a trader here. You enter a brightly lit shop. It's packed with antiques, the shelves full of jewelry and other baubles. An old man peers at you over silver spectacles. Hello? Is that? No, uh, I don't believe we've met. Forgive me, my eyes aren't what they used to be. I specialize in antiques and jewelry. I'll purchase any special trinkets you happen to have. Right? Hell yeah, antiques! Have you got anything nice with you today, perhaps? No. <laughs> no, I don't, and I should have sold those fish for what it was worth. It's, that is what I have learned. Is that a message bottle? First August 1927. We had a slight accident yesterday around the shallows at the back of Greater Marrow. A rock seemingly appeared out of nowhere and struck the front of the boat. It did not penetrate the hull, but it jostled us around and a few items fell overboard into the water. We did not see what they were, which is of some concern, but we believe all important articles are accounted for. He's been checking over some notes from the boat renaming ceremony. He's paranoid that he performed the steps incorrectly. I've never known him to be so stupid, so superstitious, superstitious. Two arrow squid and a black grouper. They only bite at night. In my defense, I didn't know. Yeah, but that does, like, it doesn't say anything about, 
oh, this will handle all of that region's types of fish. Like, there's there's no indication as to that. So I had, I had to try it. That is very useful information to have, and I did not have it before. Those look like squid. It's so dark. I don't wanna. I don't wanna go any further out. Fuck, I have to find this grouper. Don't like the noises. The noises are upsetting. can do this. I'm brave. I'm a brave dragon. I'm not absolutely terrified of the ocean and everything that lives within it. Exploring, shall we? Or at least let's look for a fish type we haven't caught before. Should have known that was the mackerel. of August 1927, morning of the second day of the honeymoon and our first day proper. Today we're sailing around the islands and inlets at the back of Greater Marrow. I love the rocks here. The layers and colors are so striking. Furthermore, the fishing is relatively poor in these shallows, so I know he will keep his hands on the wheel instead of the rods. He renamed the boat last night, Julie. He did a fancy renaming ceremony and everything. I think he took that more seriously than the wedding. Supposedly, it's very important to perform it correctly, lest you want ill fortune to follow the vessel. He wanted to throw away everything with the old name on it, but I kept the keychain Ocean, Ocean's Riches was a good name. 
I think he has prepared a surprise picnic lunch. I can see the basket half hidden, stuffed under a blanket at the front of the cabin. I love it when he tries to be romantic. That requires oceanic. Please stop making creepy noises. You're probably right. I probably could catch new fish at night. And then, and then that thing, like, moved ahead of me, and I was like, mm, never mind. Squid, why is that happening? I don't know what those eyes are. 